some people have said, you know, it's a bit like Christmas, Christmas Eve out here today, like lots of people coming out to support and show what they can. Yeah, I have had people coming out specifically to, you know, get in one last local order before they sort of lost out on the opportunity. A lot of our customers have been regulars as well who are just sort of, you know, still in their routine until otherwise. Uh, I was saying on, it felt on Saturday like the everyone was like the country was holding its breath, uh, and that was a, a weird kind of day for trade. This week, however, has been uh, I've anticipated it was either going to be definitely quiet or crazy busy, and it's actually been sort of middling, which is one thing I didn't expect. So we've had a reasonable week um, going into this lockdown, you know, and moving on to takeaway. We'll sort of you know go as we can. It was obviously really strange the first lockdown, the first probably six weeks we didn't do anything and then we had a few orders coming in online and a few work where things started picking up again but once we opened up we were actually we've actually been busy right the way through up till now so yeah so tell me about when obviously news sort of started coming around about the second lockdown what you whether you thought it was something that was coming and you were preparing for well we always kind of think is it going to happen I know we feel a bit more protected down here, but I suppose it's got to be a countrywide thing and it's got to be done. Um, yeah, so it's just a case of, we've been trying to get our website a bit better and thinking about doing more online. And obviously we're going to offer a click and collect system. I'm going to be honest, it was all not again, because we, uh, after the last lockdown, uh, when we reopened, there was a huge wave of uh, gratitude from our customers. Uh, uh, the business really did really well over the summer. Fantastic. We were um, we owned I think it's three or three shops at the moment. We've got Falmouth and Penzance. All those shops came up with loads of customers, um, and of course now we're now falling flat again so yeah. yeah to be honest we didn't really know what we was going to do because obviously the last lockdown cake isn't seen as essential um so we wasn't sure what way it was going to go um but we did know that obviously we could go down the delivery side so it's not and that sounds awful but it wasn't too much of a concern for us because we knew we had the backup plan either way so it's just it's a shame that we've had the shop only open for six weeks and it's got a shut already, so it's sad to see the town's now going to become quiet again, really. But yeah. Have you got any sort of worries? Obviously, actually having a premises, there's a lot more costs involved. To yeah, actually we've got it. obviously a lot of worries behind the rent side of things um, because our takings are going to go down dramatically. Um, so it's just, well, we're just like everyone else really, we've just got to fight against it, haven't we, so... The decision was made simply on with the, the rates and stuff, that, the help that the government and the council have put in place for, uh, for the business. It's just not viable for us to stay open. Um, people are going to stay at home, so we're not going to get that walking customer base that we normally have. So we're just going to be a point, a bit of an appointment based um, type of revenue, which would just not would have been uh, viable for us to keep open so unfortunately we've had to make that decision to close this time around. This time around we're treating it a little bit differently. We're going straight on to uh, takeaway only uh, which will be you know in effect from tomorrow I'll be sort of removing the tables and making as much sort of takeaway waiting area space as I can and we'll be running it like that with a, a sort of restricted menu in a similar way to how we did before. Uh, the other thing we're doing in response is we've gone ahead and got ourselves a sort of a little moped for doing delivery in the local area. So obviously um, Vicky, my member of staff, will be furloughed and um, I've got a couple of other part-time staff which they'll also won't be able to come in. So yeah, it'll just be me and my husband fulfilling any orders that we can get in. But unfortunately we will be closing our doors uh, from midnight tonight um, and that will be it for the next four weeks minimum. Um, we just want to reassure our customers as well that we're there for them. We have uh, our Facebook um, and you know we'll be monitoring messages and helping the best we can in a very very awkward time. Yeah. I was fortunate to work within our company in the Falmouth uh, area as well and here and here and if you walk down the high streets now there are so many shops that have closed the doors and some of them just ain't going to be you know reopening after this shutdown I think this will push a lot of them over the top now so they won't reopen though no. yeah it's very sad times you kind of just go oh, not again <laughs> but we just have to find ways around it and just keep going as much as we can really because obviously I've already bought stock hoping for the Christmas gifts to be sent so 
we are really going to have to try and push online and on Facebook and you know on our website to get those orders in. That's the only way we can do it really. Obviously yeah. a very positive outlook. <laughs> You have to, don't you? There's no point um, being all sad and moping about it. We just need to get on and get through.